All right, guys, I bought that flaring kit and everything. I was going to get some damn tubing, which I will eventually. But I said, uh, fuck it. Uh, got this one here. If it ain't long enough, we got this one here that I know it'll be long enough. And what you do is, this is what connects it. There to there. And then you flare, which I guess I didn't need my flaring kit. What am I thinking, Joe? And then you flare the other one. Okay. Oh, a bitch. And you flare the other one, and then you stick that on there. Well, you stick that down on there first, and then you flare it on the other side. So I guess I didn't need my flaring kit. So there we go. It's flared. So all we gotta do is put that in on the other end. Put that on. And we'll put that on, and we should have good brakes on the tip again. Uh, I'm going to get like 30 foot of it. So when it does happen, and I do need to pull that engine one day, we will redo that whole brake line because I don't want this kind of stuff. I mean, it should work fine, guys, but I just... I don't I need that peace of mind of one whole piece from the back to the front. <laughs> it's just the way I am. Um Damn light three sixteenths four point seven mm. So there you go. Oh forgot to say also gates gates what did we get from James well I did a little unboxing and fucked it up as normal but here we go a little turbo smart look at this instructions <laughs> kind of cool don't need none but there you go. That Chinese junk on this. Oh, I got a sticker over there too. There's your mounting brackets. I'll show you guys the sticker. There's the sticker. Just bending it out over here. Of course, Jigs always send, sends their stickers with them. So we got more Jig stickers to stick everywhere. Jigs, you jigs sponsor sponsorship sponsorship <laughs> come on jigs hook me up with fucking parts for cheaper i mean geez jigs 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 come on guys hook me up with sponsorship jigs got the wife a uh well it's a t-shirt but it's um like a long sleeves t-shirt She'll probably be watching this and uh, be like, damn, he got me a t-shirt that fucker did. So, yeah, I did. But, um, told you I wouldn't be long before I got pissy about all that Chinese junk. I don't mind running it on Hondas and whatnot, but I'm not, I'm not taking my car out to street races with Chinese shit all over it. Um... Still gonna get that turbo, guys. It's just you gotta give me time. I just wanted to make sure I got everything in order. Uh, gotta put the stove in yet tomorrow. Maybe I'll show you guys that stuff yet. One more day of non-car car related stuff. This is what I did today. I'll just show you real quick. Oh, hold on. Oh. Got me a new. angle grinder today it's a black and decker it's an eight amp uh it's not the six amp black and decker which like at walmart uh always use your dewalt bits don't or not bits cutting wheels grind wheels all that shit don't use that cheap shit dude 
it'll explode. Uh, yesterday one exploded on me, even a good one, and cut my leather glove. A friend of mine was using like a five inch or a six inch one, real big one, and he was cutting with a D with a cheap, not a Dewalt one. Come back, took uh, two of his fingers. So that was a few weeks ago. Fucking shitty. But yeah, I mean, there we go. Wanted to show you guys that. And I got some more stuff. Yeah, I'll even show you what wife, the wife got for her car. Well, I got it for her, but it's for her car. I did. That's what I did today. A little bit of painting. Um, it's a little wet left right there. Hopefully the moisture don't get into it. But yeah, I painted my front door today. Wife got that. So I wanted to paint it while she was at work. And I got that fucking storm coming. Oh, and a quick quick thing about the ones at Walmart. The six amp ones. They're not bad. I mean, I've had them before. I got that uh, Bostage I use. But uh, they're like 250 fucking bucks. And I'm not spending that ever again. Uh, I used to have one of these. Made this year. And worked really good. I just dropped it from about 20 foot up and busted it. So it's got the lock in it. So but yeah, I used it. Uh, I didn't use it. I just put the wheel on and did a little bit. We got to use that wheel to cut the Honda. We gotta cut the fucking Honda up. Or not cut it up. Cut the brackets up the Honda. We ain't gonna cut it up. Uh, speaking of the Honda, here you go. Alright. Talk to a lot of Honda guys. And all the Honda guys. Not all. But most told me to get. I always get gates anyway. Um, our OEM for the Hondas. They're gates belts anyway, guys. Even for. Um, but. Okay, but the belt, I've heard, no, wait a minute, I should get this right. I've heard to use the D16Z6 kit for, had to be in a gauge, for the JDM D15B. But, also heard to use the VX, was it, is it VX? V something? Um... Yeah, VX or whatever. But that's like a D15B. It's an SI. But it's... I don't even think it's an SI. That D15 that they're talking about. I don't know. I've heard that you got to use that belt with this kit. So... Who knows? Holy shit. Really, Gates? Really? Oh, there's the Gates belt. Never been smaller than the pulley. And Gates for you. They're always a good company. Uh, shit, this stuff is a pain in the dick. I hate this kind of shit. That's what's always nice about gates, too, is this. And thank God. See, there's a spring. <laughs> that I think that's the only thing I'm missing on mine, guys, is that fucking spring. Oh. Is that gaskets? That's cool. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what's nice about gates. They give you a little tray and... All that stuff. And these trays are nice to keep around for when you're working, guys. Put your bolts in here, your, your nuts in here, your bolts in here, or whatever one's together. But yeah, now I heard that this tensioner is bigger and blah, blah, blah. And 
a little different and then I don't know I heard a bunch of stupid shit I think it's a VX the VX timing belt but a lot of the local Honda guys that I know all told me to run that belt with I mean this complete kit so the gates everything so that's what we did um, now we gotta do is get the motor mounts to this and then we can then we can spray this cocksucker um, I really didn't want to put a lot of money into this this year but which we didn't really I mean we probably put six seven hundred in the Honda this year because uh, with this kit um, the nitrous kit and the motor mounts, we're probably up around 600, which ain't bad, right? A lot of new stuff. Well, I don't know about a lot of new stuff, but all the important shit. But when we do this belt, we'll uh, also, yeah, when we do this belt, I like to do the valve cover and all that shit, but I don't really want to get into too much craziness because I'm probably going to end up blowing the motherfucker up. I mean, I'm not going to try to. I'm going to try to do what other people I haven't seen done, and that's people run shitload of power on a uh, JDM D15B on spray. I haven't seen anybody run a 100 shot on them. All stock. No fucking head gasket. None of that uh, solid gasket or whatever they use. Might get one of them sometime. I don't know. But yeah, we got gates. Like I said, so you go with guys for your timing belts anyway. If you're not going to buy, I mean, I told you guys that GMB ain't too bad if you ain't got the money off EGA. I mean, um, I've ran them before in the past and had luck with them. But Gates is cheap, guys. I mean, I think this kit was like 63 bucks, And then... You know, ten percent off the next order, <laughs> which I'll probably get a timing belt for the talent. Um, I like to get the motor for that this year, but I got so much to do this tip yet. Uh, I need to get DSM clutch conversion. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to get yet. Now, this is anchor. Uh. I've used them before for replacement like parts. Uh, where the hell's my knife? Probably can't find that motherfucker. Hold on. Oh, I can't show you guys that. It doesn't come up. Isn't that weird? Like this has got red lettering. On. Right, hold on, hold on. Can you guys see that? It says DEA. DEA products warranty valid if removed. How the fuck is that ever going to stay there? But anyway, I got a lot of stuff from these guys. And see how solid that is? I mean, like your e gay ones, when you get them, they're not like that. So, look at that. How good that is. That's America for you. But, <laughs> yeah, it's probably not even made in America. I think they are, though, actually. But these anchors are always real super hard. I mean, they're damn, um, damn near close to being fucking solid. I mean, that's, I mean, you guys can see. I mean, normally, there's cheap bastards from, like, Ige. You can, like, move with your fingers and whatnot. Uh, what I usually do is I use this stuff that they use for cementing for cement that hold bricks and shit and i fi i fill the gaps up in whole way up and around and i fill this area up in too that's what i normally do um i tried a couple of the e-gay ones in her car they just kept breaking them uh, i should make that sell amount for her here but these ones are here got a couple year warranty on it so i don't care if it keeps breaking Man, that thing is solid. Yeah, yeah. 
Like I said, I think Anchor is made in um, the USA. It's hard to find parts these days made in the USA, but I'm 100% it's not Chinese. Um, I think they're out of New York. But, yeah. Um, you can't, see how you can't move that at all? I mean, that's some bitch solid. So that's a good one. Uh, I should show you guys some of the other ones that are already, like, flimsy as fuck. Um, I got an E-Gay one in there. I just didn't want to put it on because I knew it would break. But, yeah. Real good. Um, yeah, I think that's it for car parts. Turbo Smart! Fucking, I wonder what them two fucks are doing today.